and keeping with the latest developments coming in, the race for the Congress top job, Rajasthan Chief Minister Ashok Gehlot proposes Mr. Malikarjun Kharge's name as the Congress Chief. And on the expected lines, here's a reaction coming in from Mr. Ashok Gehlot. Kharge is a good thing. He 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 is राष्ट्र स्तरम दो भी है और मैं समझता हूं कि सही उन्होंने निर्णय किया खड़े होने का और मैं चाहूंगा जो हाई कमांड मुझे कहेगी जो जिम्मेदार देगी वो मैं दिवाऊंगा जिम्मेदार देगी नहीं दिवाऊंगा ये बात मैं 10 दिन पहले कह चुका हूं आप लोगों को और मैं नहीं कह रहा हूं देशवासी कहते हैं कि कांग्रेस मजबूत होना बहुत आवश्यक है उसके लिए राहुल गांधी निकल पड़ा है चाहे वो महंगाई हो चाहे वो आपका बेरोजगारी हो चाहे देश में एकता हो शांति हो सद्भाव हो प्यार मोहब्बत हो नफरत नहीं हो इस मुद्दे के लिए वो निकल पड़ा है और मैं उनके साथ बहुत लोगों ने कहा कि आपने इस्तीफे की पेशकश की आपने इस्तीफे की पेशकश आपने इस्तीफे की पेशकश सुन लिया well, that was the word coming in from Mr. Ashok Gehlot. My colleague Yash is live from Mr. Kharge's residence. Yash, some time ago we were talking about the fact that how Mr. Malikarjun Kharge seems to have the backing of the top leaders of the Congress party, Mr. Ashok Gehlot being one of them. Well, yes, in fact, uh, Ashok Gehlot presence at uh, Malik Arjun Kharge's residence very much confirms uh, this thing only. And he has said on record that he is going to be the proposer for Malik Arjun Kharge. Right now, there are many leaders who are present inside the very residence. Those are the live visuals coming in. Mr. Shashi Tharoor going to file his nomination papers. He would also tweeted out the details. He was just in conversation with my colleague Maria Shakil where he bear it all. And he said that there are various changes that he wants the Congress party to have at an institutional level, on the ground level across various state units and as a Congress loyalist, as a Congress party worker, he will go ahead and file his nomination papers. Uh, those are the live visuals on your screen. Would he be under some kind of pressure to withdraw his nomination papers? We'll have to wait and see. So far, it seems like a friendly contest between Malikarjun Kharge, who seems to have the backing of the Gandhi family and the top leaders of the Congress party, and Mr. Shashi Tharoor, who of course is a Congress loyalist, a well-known leader. But to what extent this is going to be a real fight doesn't seem like so. So far, Yash continues to be with us uh, live from the Congress uh, parties, uh, you know, one of the key residents of Mr. Malikarjun Kharge. He's been reporting from there. Yash, you were talking about the fact that how Mr. Ashok Gehlot had met uh, Mr. Malikarjun Kharge. Uh, Shashi Tharoor has also thrown his hat in the ring and a contest seems to be all likely between Mr. Tharoor and Mr. Kharge. Well, yes, this is now definite that this is going to be a two-way battle with the major two contenders in this uh, very battle of the Congress presidency, Mr. Shashi Tharoor and uh, Malika Arjun Kharge. But the Congress party is though maintaining this line that this is a friendly match. This is not a battle between two leaders, though we have seen in the past uh, how things turn ugly uh, in Rajasthan when it came to Mr. Ashok Gehlot coming to the centre and uh, getting to the top post of the Congress party. But now also he continues to maintain that the party is together and what they are doing right now is they are trying to uh, ment out a leader who will be suited for the Congress party in the larger run. A, a leader who could actually keep together the Congress party, be it in the North India or South India. So they are actually looking towards a pan-India leader who can keep the party together. Malika, Malika Arjun Kharge is one such name. Another name is uh, Shashi, Tharoor, uh, 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 Shashi Tharoor. There were some uh, reservations about Shashi Tharoor being the Congress uh, uh, president that he is uh, he's obviously not a leader. There were some... Uh, things going on that he's not a leader of the masses but he actually uh, spoke uh, moments bef uh, just uh, moments from now uh, to our political editor Mare Shakil and he yeah. actually very much said that and in Hindi only that a politician who needs to work in India needs to understand and speak Hindi well hmm. so this hmm. is the line which they are drawing that be it Malik Arjun Kharge be it Shashi Tharoor these leaders are projected to be the pan-India leaders and hmm. right now uh, Shashi Tharoor is all set to f yeah Yash Goyal getting us all the details from the residence of Mr. Malikarjun Kharge. I want to cut across to our senior editor Pallavi Ghosh as well. Pallavi, this is the contest which is all set here. Largely speaking, Mr. Shashi Tharoor versus Mr. Malikarjun Kharge. What should we expect from here on? Is Mr. Tharoor under some kind of implicit pressure to withdraw his nomination? Or he'll go the full length? He'll fight the elections? 
Well, as of now, he has every intention of filing his nomination. The time which he had given to AICC was 12.15, but you know, you can see it's already 12.30. This is also happens to be a time when we are being told uh, Malika Jun Kharge is going to file his nomination. Meanwhile, lots of activities you can see inside the AICC. Leaders pouring in, the cadre also pouring in. Obviously, it's going to be a show of string. But I think, Anusha, just to answer your question, here's the way the Congress Party works. No one is going to say anything, but anyone who's not going to be uh, voting for the so-called official candidate or he seems to be standing up against the official candidate at some level may always be considered to be either a pariah or will maybe criticized for that. Uh, Shashi Tharu to go back uh, in, in, in history and his uh, politics as well, he's not always been considered to be very popular uh, as far as the grassroots of the Congress party is concerned. A kind of an outsider even by the Kerala unit. I'm still getting all those pictures even as we speak, Anusha. So we are going to be seeing uh, the big ticket leader Leaders, all of them pouring in. Muluk, Mukul Vastik, for example, over here a short while back. I think in a convoluted way, there is going to be a pressure on Shashi Tharoor uh, to withdraw at some point of time. Uh, you know, if you look at the kind of arrangements which are being made for the nomination of Malika Jun Karge, those nominations clearly have not been made for Shashi Tharoor. For Malika Jun Karge, proposals have come in. The party machinery has been geared up. There you're getting those pictures, even as I'm uh, standing right over here at the AICC headquarters. The nomination process of course begins uh, hmm. in a hmm. short while from now uh, hmm. just to get some more clarity about uh, the pictures which are coming out from the AICC headquarters uh, we saw Ashok Gelot also being one of the proposers uh, and then a car moves towards the office the election office yeah. of the Congress party that's where Malika Jun uh, Kharge also is expected to go and cast his nomination yeah. papers as well and hmm. of course Shashi Tharoor. Pallavi uh, there's an interesting term you use which is the official candidate if these were elections, quote unquote, in any sense, uh, does the term official candidate really behove of an electoral process? Then it seems like a selection of some kind. Would you agree? Well, I'm just giving a quick update on this, Anusha. It yeah. is Ashok Gelod who has in, entered the AICC headquarters. And he is, of course, going to be one of the uh, proposers or endorsers. And there you can see those clear pictures. He's standing out and stepping out of his car right outside the election office of the Congress party and making the point that all is well, that I'm backing the person who the Gandhis are backing. And that, I think, is the main point which is being played out over here. Uh, anytime now, we are being told Malika Arjun Kharge is going to be coming in here to file his nomination. Officially, he is the official face of the Congress party or the candidate of the Congress party. Hmm, hmm. He is the official candidate. Uh, those are the live visuals coming in from the AICC office where the process of filing the nomination papers is underway. On, on the left-hand side of your screen, those are the visuals of Mr. Shashi Tharoor uh, praying to the God before he files that nomination papers. We also got you that exclusive conversation with Mr. Tharoor where he very categorically says that he is going to go ahead. He will fight the elections. He is a Congress worker, a Congress loyalist and he has a lot of ideas which can help the party in the coming few days. I am going back to Pallavi.